Hi, this is Charlie Montotuyella with uh, Blue Bear Flutes. Of course, you know our website, bluebearflutes.com, as well as our Instagram. I hope you have seen our Instagram because we put out new pictures and videos and things on there just about on a daily basis, uh, at least several times a week. So that aside, today we're focusing again on our how to play the Native American flute in under 10 minutes. Uh, just a real quick little series that you can go through and kind of jog your memory for how to play this and how to play that. We've uh, done this on a few different scales. We'll be doing some new videos on playing the Native American flute in under 10 minutes here shortly. And uh, likewise, today we're gonna play one thing that I know many of you have asked for, which is the chromatic scale. Uh, the chromatic scale, for those of you who aren't musically inclined, just basically means the bass note of the scale and the high octave note of the scale. So they're the same note, just one is an octave higher or lower than the other. And with a chromatic scale, it's every note and half step note in between. So you play the first note is actually a half covered of the bottom hole. So it's, it's a little tricky to get practice on that half covered hole. There's a lot of reasons to learn how to half cover your holes because you can actually play chromatically with all half covered holes instead of the alternate fingerings that I'm going to show you. So you could and just kind of go all the way up by partially covering a hole. But with the chromatic scale that I'm going to show you, there are alternate fingerings. And it's pretty easy to get the alternate fingerings, uh, you know, as right as you need to, uh, to make it play what it is that you're looking to do. So if you're trying to play like a, a classical piece of music or a modern piece of music that may not be in completely in the minor pentatonic scale, you'll want to find out what the chromatic notes are that you're trying to accomplish. Then you'll have to pick out which flute that you can play those chromatic notes on, and then you'll um, basically play them chromatically on the flute. So it's very easy. It's, uh, it's hard to memorize, so if you see me looking down, it's probably because I'm cheating. But uh, anyway, it's uh, hard to memorize uh, all the chromatic notes unless you use them on a daily basis. And most of us tend to like to play So uh, you didn't need the chromatic scale for that. You just need the basic Native American flute scale. So I'm going to show you one note at a time so you'll know where we're going with this. So the bass note is all holes covered. The next note is partially cover the bottom hole. Then uncover the bottom hole. Then recover the bottom hole. Uncover the second from the bottom hole. Uncover. Cover this one, uncover that one. Let's see, I feel like I got lost somewhere. Let's try again. time playing it kind of slowly so that you can see what the fingerings are and then I'll go back over it and discuss that with you again because there are some of the notes in there you'll find useful like as we discussed before in our blues video how to play the blues on the Native American flute in the typical pentatonic blues minor pentatonic blues scale there's one extra note that you don't play with the typical Native American flute scale and it's really easy to do we ran over that in a previous video. We'll probably be discussing some of the other bluesy notes that you can play on the blues scale on the Native American flute because there are a few other notes that are uh, diminished that sound really good in typical blues scale. And then um, previously we've also played the major scale and the typical Native American which is just covering all the holes one at a time, uncover them till you get to the top. And if you're playing one of those six hole flutes that they tell you to tie a leather on or cover that hole up, we'll be talking more about those in the very near future, but uh, you can keep that hole covered. If you're playing one of our six hole flutes that we make that plays all the notes 
from bottom to top, you can either not concern yourself with that top note up there or use it for the next note in the scale, which you can also play on the five hole flute. So the six hole Native American flute made in the way that you use all the holes instead of keeping one covered to play the minor scale properly. Uh, that type of six hole flute, you basically just have another note that's above the top octave of the scale. So. We've discussed this before in other uh, videos and of course had scale sheets about them and you can find them on our website. Um, however, today, going back to our chromatic scale, I'm going to show you playing it slowly one more time and then I'll show you how that relates to some of the other scales we've played. If you noticed while we were playing, right there is a, a real typical note that we like to play when we're playing the blues. And that's one of the notes that we play on the chromatic scale. So you can see the usefulness of it. And if you've been playing the modern six hole Native American flute that requires you to keep that fingering covered all the time, and you find a use in that hole, like if you're playing Amazing Grace or any other song that requires you to play that note or have for some reason become addicted to hearing that note outside of the minor pentatonic scale that isn't related to anything else. <laughs> Just listening to my comments roll in. Um, anyway, you can play that one. I keep getting confused there because I don't use that note for anything. So those of you who play the third fingering for some reason on the six hole modern Native American flute, that's how you play it is that, that little combination right there. That's a lot more fun than playing a scale with a note that's kind of out of sync. So anyway, I hope that this has helped you for those who are interested in playing the chromatic scale. Once again, the scales that we use when we are talking about playing a scale on the flute, those work with any Native American flute. Uh, you can even keep that hole covered up on your modern six hole flute and play chromatically just like I showed you, uh, just pretending that hole doesn't exist. So you can do that and likewise, uh, with this scale and fingering technique because the Native American flutes, even this one in the key of G, uses the same fingerings as one in the key of A, as one in the key of B, as one in the key of C, and so on and so on. And even if you're playing the modern six hole flute, just keep that hole covered, it plays exactly the same. You can play the chromatic scale for each one of those flutes. So since this is a G, we can play the G chromatic scale one octave. If you had an A, you can play the A chromatic scale one octave, and it's using the same exact fingering technique, so you don't have to worry about memorizing a whole bunch of different ways to play different scales. One of the great conveniences of the Native American flute. So, like I said, I hope this video has helped you guys out some and certainly given you something to think about. Uh, look for this chromatic scale sheet on both our website as well as my new How to Play the Native American Flute book upcoming very soon and uh, you'll find some great usefulness in there as well. So you guys take care, happy flute playing. Those of you who are looking for more flute making videos, we have so many of them that have come out and are coming out right now, and we look forward to seeing you again very soon as well. So once again, Charlie Matatuyela for Blue Bear Flutes and bluebearflutes.com, signing out. Y'all take care. Mm -hmm.